Carl, your collaboration with Fendi is the longest in fashion. In the history of fashion, yes, I know. Yes. It, it is. It should be in the Guinness Book. Huh? <laughs> I'm sure it, it should know, be. No, I'm sorry, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. But when you started with them, Carl, could you have ever imagined that it would have lasted Nobody this long? Nobody could, myself included, you know. Because, you know, this goes back to 1965. The world we live in today is not the same world anymore. Huh? Everything has changed, and nothing has changed more than the world of fashion. Can you remember, though, when you first met the Fendi sisters? Of course I can, very well. There were uh, five sisters who had a new salon, because before they were in a shop in the Via Piave, and they wanted uh, somebody who could add a little young touch to a special collection of young fur. I don't know how young fur can be, but, in, you know, this uh, period was about youth obsession, even worse than today. I said, but you have to make a little different label. And I, in three seconds, I did the 2F, fun fur. It wasn't Fendi fur, it was fun fur. But after two years, it became the, uh, the, the logo for everything Fendi. And how did it evolve over the years, Carl, the collaboration bet between the two of you? The whole evolution of the whole thing. Eh? Yes. It's, it's difficult to say this, this, yeah. this. It, uh, then they started the ready to wear in uh, 1977. Yes. And also we mixed the ready to wear with the fur and all that. There was one idea they didn't like, uh, but in the end we did it later, but much later when it was the business was sold, was to mix fake fur with real fur. Ah, okay. <laughs> that is still an idea everybody is scared of. Not me because I'm scared of nothing. You're not scared of anything? No, of myself a little, that's all. <laughs> Where do you think that came from, Carl, that you're not scared of, of anything? You know, if you're in this business and you are scared, uh, then you better do something else. No, and they were open to it, especially Carl Fendi. They were open for, for everything new, every, every change. I mean, this was full of energy. They had tons of energy, and I think I had a little good energy too. So it worked and was great. The 70s were great, the 80s. After that it was a little different because, you know, seeing the, the world of fashion changed so much that in the end uh, it became an LVMH business, what is very good because we are now, we are now no, really invested in it and look what Fendi is now. Huh? Huh? He really made a huge thing out of Fendi. Huh? And I think the top of the top of the evolution of Fendi was the show on the, on the fountain of Trevi. Uh, what is a moment we can never repeat. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.